Good morning and welcome to Anime Impulse Bay Area 2024. My name is Chris Liu. Good to see you again. We're back on the convention circuit here in San Mateo, California on this October 12th, 2024. Uh, I've been, this is my second time at AI Bay Area. Uh, we're standing right now in kind of the midst of the vendor area. We'll look at Artist Alley. Uh, we'll check out Collector's Expo and K-Play Fest. Um, but let's, let's get our walkthrough going. You know, if you can't be here, hopefully you can see something you like on this video. <laughs> but yeah, we're starting here at the kind of the merch booth for Anime Impulse themselves. Uh, they've kind of made a name for themselves over the last year or so. Um, getting lots of VTubers and special voice actor guests. Lots of English VAs for games and anime. But it's, it's a convention that's grown over time and it's that they also hold multiple times a year. That makes it unique compared to other cons. Uh, we start with our special weapons booth, uh, meant for your cosplay ambition. So swords, some, plenty, plenty, plenty of swords. Maybe you recognize one from a favorite series. But. Uh, Weapons do make a cosplay, especially for video games such as Genshin Impact, all the Hoyos, or maybe even some Western stuff. Um, but we're going to look through the other vendors here. The vendor hall, you have like more commercial things or kind of big name distributors. And then when we get to Artist Alley, uh, that will be more you know, fan-made merch. Um, looks like we found kind of like uh, the smart doll area. If you're familiar with the Danny Chu over the years, um, his smart doll brand has grown significantly. And the way that he's designed them, I think, kind of makes it acceptable for wide audiences and uh, over the years he's developed many different designs many characters so there's there's a smart doll for anyone I believe I've always been a fan of his work uh, so we'll jump right into Artist Alley um, my favorite section so it's easy just to see what we have going on here uh, we'll start from the end but it's very spacious, um, you know, I think it's a little bit past 12 o'clock. The, con the con's been open for one hour. <clears throat> and already we have, you know, a healthy turnout of people. Going through the line was much easier this year. Uh, I remember last year taking over an hour to stand in line, but this, this time around they, they did the bag checks early, started standing, scanning passes, and they just kind of held everyone in like a courtyard area inside until 11 o'clock. And that, that really made kind of the check-in experience so much easier. <clears throat> so here is the beginning of Artist Alley, which, which on the left, you can also see they have the, the standee cutouts. Um, so for all of our special guests from Hololive, uh, Hachima, Akai Hato, and Shiori Novella are here representing Hololive. But we'll look at that in tandem as we get a look at some booths. So I always love seeing kind of the, the different displays that uh, creators have set up to try and catch your eye and so that you can pretty much make a quick assessment of what's available. How's your weekend so far? Hey, it just started. Awesome, yeah, I know, great, great. <laughs> but uh, plenty of charms, keychains, posters, prints, uh, collectibles here, so. More VTubers from Hololive Meet, and then down here at the end, we've got uh, Niji Sanji uh, <coughs> VTubers. So, the categorizations here help. We got lots of stickers available. And so, here, take photos with, uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Niji, Petra, Rosie, me, I, uh, we got different alter alternate costumes available today. <laughs> and even some first time appearances by Dinoth 
Rioma was at the last one, but now we have Twisty and Clara here also available for meet and greets. I don't know who they are. I'm not going to get the gift for their Sunday. So, happy to see Niji represented and, you know, fans here have an opportunity to do a meet and greet session. So, we got several aisles to walk through. But uh, Genshin Impact, Hololai, lots of pretty, pretty things. So if you've never been out to a convention before, you know, consider Anime Impulse, consider Anime Expo, AWA is coming up in December. I'm not sure if I'm able to make that one, but stay tuned. If, uh, if I do make it, I'll do a video. But not just VTubers, but you know, corporate or indie, I see Mint Phantom. There's plenty of mints. I already did kind of a bit of a walkthrough. But even just from from anime, it's not all video games and VTubers. So. I'm so happy. It was the crop. I was like, I was like, it's the crop in the hat. I was like, I'm going to bring her back. 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 In general, like a lot of these fandoms, you know, have a lot of crossover. If you like idols, I, all genders are represented, and and of course, you know, as I walk up and down the aisles, you will definitely catch cosplayers. You know, point them out in the comments if you see one you particularly like. Uh, We love cosplayers <clears throat> because Anime Impulse also does cosplay meets throughout the day, throughout the weekend, today and tomorrow. Um, fans have organized cosplay meetups, so you check their website, check their schedule. <clears throat> Always makes for a great photo opportunity. So here we have another booth full of uh, Niji artwork. I like seeing the uh, the repeat guests too. <clears throat> we'll come across Dusko and Tora Pop. So as you're walking up and down, you know you don't have to buy everything you see. But normally, when you're just doing kind of window shopping like this, you can definitely catch something catches your eye. You can grab a card or ask them what their uh, social media handles are. So even if you maybe can't buy something today, you can follow them on Twitter, Instagram, and maybe you know you can plan out a future purchase. And maybe in some of these uh, vendors even sell online. So through mine and maybe plenty other people's videos covering this and other artist alleys. If you see something you like, you know, we'll try and figure out the names, who the artist is, and they may have an online store. <clears throat> so here's Tora Pop, who is well known for the Hello My Oshi Is series including foam boards. You'll see it on the way over to Was there? Over here we've got cushions and pillows. <clears throat> Acrylic charms are easy to make, very popular. And you can always Hang them uh, from your bags. Mm. 
even Pokemon Final Fantasy are here. So, lots of space around here, not, not super crowded. Continue to make our way down Artist Alley. I'll add some chapters to the video, so if you want to skip around, please feel free and then come back to sections when you... That's a clever name, Pinjutsu. So, enamel pins are nice. couple empty tables, maybe they will a little bit late coming in, we might see them tomorrow. So this is day one, Anime Impulse is a two-day convention. Uh, there will be more festivities tomorrow. <coughs> Today is Hold Alive, Hold Stars at the panels and meet and greets. All of Niji Sanji will be tomorrow on Sunday. Very comfortable shopping experience. So here is X3 Dusco. Dusco with a whole gacha machine here. She's always very creative with her offerings. So definitely check her out. <coughs> Dusko travels to a lot of conventions, so you're bound you're bound to come across her table. Oh, this one's got lighting. Very descriptive there. Many booths have combo deals. You can buy one print, but if you normally if you buy two or buy three, you can get one for free or get them at a discount. So always encourage to buy buy multiple. This one looks very... <laughs> so while we're here, we'll get, we'll get a quick glimpse of the map. We're over here on the left side in Artist Alley. Um, we can look through some of the vendors after. Up in purple would be the Collector's Expo. Voice actor signatures in the corner there. And then over in building number two in the blue is K, K Play Fest. And then the main stage. And then uh, littered in between will be the Deco Car Itasha, the anime cars. <laughs> so we'll get a glimpse of them soon. I don't know, my phone's picking it up as we're getting closer to the community stage. You'll probably see, hear some of the announcements going on, special events. 
I like this. Eleven charms for seventy-five dollars. So lots of combo pack deals there. So the prints come in all sizes, 11 by 17, 8 by 10s, 5 by 7s, or even postcard sizes. <clears throat> oh, this one has keycaps. So. I think the booth you get to be on the on the ends on the aisles they have a bit of an advantage since they get a little bit more surface area to uh, advertise what they have so even if you're just walking up and down the regular aisles you can kind of oh and i love seeing kind of the knitted and the crochets So I had mentioned that yet, but plushies are another another popular merch item. Looks like we got two tables pretty close here together that offer um, kind of knitted or crochet creations. Squid game and then tote bags. Tote bags and jet tags are also really nice. Look on this side as well. So, left and right, um, you could spend your whole day, you know, going like doing very careful window shopping. You know, getting a really close look. Or you can wander until something catches your eye, then you can spend an extra couple minutes at a booth if, if someone's art style. And here, I remember seeing them at last year, kind of very unique, like terrarium uh, Pokemon and other series. So they make a really unique gift. trying to showcase artists. Oh, socks. We got socks, we got some clothing. We got tags. And then here, here's a, a table I enjoy visiting. Luna, Luna, not too arts, selling plushies. Very large and nicely sized ones. Some from Niji. And then this is a very sizable wisp. I mean, look, look how big it is. 
big whisk gets you a big whisk from Luna. She makes Ita bags as well. So, very big fan of Luna. Yeah, you, if, you, if you've seen my other videos, you may notice some repeat tables. So, always happy to see artists kind of traveling conventions like I do. We're all rooting for more East Coast conventions. I'm having to go to the West Coast often, more often than I'd like. There's some hoodies, these look good. Clicky cats. So we get some really unique stuff here. And these are like the pins. Here's some representing keyboards. We got gotcha pawn, mystery bags. Oh, this table has it all. Bushy, so is that a rose god jelly? We've got a lot, of, a lot of goodies here, a lot of nice off Come on, guys, you guys want to play? Come over. I don't like it, I swear. I can't buy anything. Running on 20 minutes, so. What is the name of this self driving vehicle that has taken over? I need to speed it up just a bit as we're getting closer to the stage. So, they're, the stage announcer is trying to take overtake me in voice. I hear Spoonie Lust. I like this one. The tote bag's here. Here's one kind of made to look like a shopping bag. Next question. In season one, which group member faced off against the standard sim? So either Master Rubu or... So let's see what the... It looks like it's, it's a trivia program I here at the no community stage. It, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll move it forward. You guys are right. It is Jay. Okay. okay, next question. In season two, which group member faces off against Dr. Sin? Make your guesses right now. Either Lynn or Master Rugu. And if you didn't know already, already, there is a mini series on YouTube by Toyota called Group. This whole trivia so, is based on. We'll take a look. There's two seasons. Season I'll make sure to out, just let you know. so pass by ready, the final row the of uh, Artist prizes. Alley here. Because there's a lot of prizes, just to let you know. There's like boxes back here. So, final guesses? You guys are correct. It is Lynn. Okay, next. In the Grip series, what are the driving maneuvers that the racers uh, use? Oh, Either these are like hopping, kind of wood carvings. Or drifting. I don't know how to these show look nice. how to drift, but it's like one of the two. So we got some <laughs> very, very unique. Hopping or drifting, guys. Right here. I only know drifting from Mario Kart, so give me some grace. Final guesses? Okay. It is drifting! Give yourself a round of applause. You guys are doing really good. Okay, what is the name of the upgraded version of this sim? If you guys haven't already, it's on this it's this series on YouTube. So if you haven't already, you should watch this series. So it looks on like YouTube. it's a show called Grip. So either Sim Maybe Supreme by Toyota. or Sim Ultimate. So are you guys ready? No final guesses? So this looks okay. like a promotional Sim program. Guys, for Grip. Let's get it together. Did you guys watch the series? Did you? No? <laughs> it's okay. You guys are really good guessers anyway. Honestly, I wouldn't win. Okay. Over here, um, we have the Collector's Expo. What are the three vehicles? Normally, Anime Impulse has Sneaker Expo as part of their combo thing, but uh, Sneaker Expo is not present this, this turn. I think they were at, at Orange County. But uh, something that has really kind of made their, made their place here is Collector's Expo. And in my opinion, I think it's a little bit more relatable to kind of the, the rest of the audience because at Collector's Expo you're going to have c cards among other things for sale things that would be considered collectibles which would align with Anime Impulse and K-Play Fest so now you can find Yu-Gi-Oh! 
cards. You can find Pokemon. You can find why Schwartz and other card games are represented here. Uh, little little figurines and books and manga. So it, it almost to me is like an extension of Anime Impulse. Way more so than uh, than Sneaker Expo would have been you know, or has been is because it was always like athletic apparel and, and sneakers, of course. So it was always it, it was always a different um, different feel. So I'm, I'm happy to see Collectors Expo being part of the circuit here because uh, it's a lot more fun to browse. So you know they they occupy kind of like this back area. So, because then you can have, you know, still kind of the usual, like, charms and decorations. You can hang this one based on, like, little old game board cartridges. So, I like that. You know, it's got the nostalgic feel. You can still, like, have clothing, like apparel, style, fashion stores. Um, and there have been a lot of, like, different cards and trading cards coming up. Even, so here's some, like... Genshin, Hoyoverse, uh, Zenda Zone Zero, represented up here. So we have, you know, and I'm not that familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, the one I was looking for. <laughs> but these aren't something that I can really get a super good glimpse at with my camera. Uh, you would have to. I would encourage you to visit yourself if you're able, able to. Um, so we've got video games. If you're if you're a collector there, you can get like some old N64 games, old GameCube, PS2, PS1 classics. You can buy here. And I remember playing some of these. Comic books, little old like magazines. And I used to subscribe to Nintendo Power. Looks like we have a table for Oreo Ojo. So Collectors Expo is a you know a smaller footprint, but I'm hoping that they continue to grow because there's just a lot of yeah, would, yeah, opportunities garage, here, all the stuff will go in the garage, and and this is the right crowd to to sell to. Yeah, here we have like some custom Game Boy Advance and old old handhelds, and then here here we go. Here's some comics. Get yourself your hands on some classic DC and Marvel comics. Uh, so, here is a trading area, tables where you can meet people and probably play games, car games, tabletop. Uh, and then over in this corner would be all the voice actors. Not allowed to get too close and so think your video is not permitted but this is the corner where they put the meeting greets with all their with the voice actor guests so let's see let me uh finish off this building before we head over to the cars and k-play but yeah, we have this is the vendor section of anime impulse where like as i mentioned it's it's kind of more more commercialized not not so much like fan designs as as the artist alley i guess i'm a little tricking tricking with butterfly knives hey man uh, shiori uh, yeah can you the panel yeah, I'm gonna go to the back. I wish it wasn't at the same time as I'm I Mirai. I know. I'm I Mirai on Instagram. 
subscribe to them. Watch, go to their concerts. I'm I'm Eli. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta cheer twice as hard for me, please. I will. I will, I'll do, I will do so that. So sad. I had the life. I was ready with the thunder snake. Yeah. And I'm about that, bro. I need yeah. to practice. Ugh. No. You'll represent in the panel for sure. I know yeah. it. With that. Next time. Yes. Next absolutely. Time. Okay. That is my friend, who is, as you can see, a big Shiori fan. But yeah, it's uh, the Hololive panel with Hachiman Shiori is at the same time as the I My Mirai, an anime, like a video game cover song band, um, which I actually did a video at Anime Expo. So you can find that on my channel. So after I finish this recording, uh, we will go, I will go, not with <laughs> Uh, take a look at uh, I My Mirai but uh, that is in about 25 minutes so we'll continue looking at the uh, vendor section this is about where I started at the beginning of the video except we got a sussy person in purple Uh, but yeah, the, some of the more licensed stuff or you know, representing like bigger bigger stores Here we have looks like collectible plates Representing I see Star Wars. I see Zelda Punisher And these are like incense you, you, you put your incense sticks in these uh, And Bart um, if you're in the San Francisco area, you are familiar with BART, the public transit. Here we have like ink in a very kind of that old classic style with the ink designs. Anime Ink US. Oh, these, these are kind of like little mats for your room or your bathroom. So that's unique. I haven't seen these before. So nice and fuzzy on your feet. And these are like peeker stickers that you can put on your, your car. Stick them on uh, stick them on windows here. Yeah, they so, here's some instructions here. They're static clings. So they're not actually stickers. They're like decals. We got Sailor Moon here. Hello Kitty, some of the classics being represented always. Oh, uh, Crocs. Oh, charms for Crocs. Okay. Lots of them, actually. So if you are a fan of Crocs, decorate your Crocs. Pokemon cards. See the arcade there. We'll look at them in a very shortly. Let me walk one quick circle, one more circle around the vendor area. So, yeah, we're here for figures. I haven't I haven't showcased figures yet. So you always you always find one of these tables at anime conventions. Discount figures of almost everything under the sun. So, <clears throat> definitely lots to see, lots to ponder about, and it's a two-day convention, so come take a look at what's being offered on day one, come back on day two, because you, Anime Impulse sells uh, the whole weekend pass. It's like $40 uh, plus some taxes, fees for for the whole weekend. Oh yes, pillowcases, Dakimakura. 
you will always see Dakimakura available at anime conventions. So a bunch of mystery bags here. $65 Genshin mystery bag with at least twice, nearly three times the value inside. Here's $45 versions. But yes, pretty girls on pillowcases. Um, and, and the men as well, not just girls. So we got the dudes also represented. Uh, a special addition this time around is the Honkai Star Rail booth. So this is something that I normally see at bigger conventions like Anime and Mycere, Anime Expo, like an entire area with like this nice carpet, um, a whole booth, just, you know, a very decorative store dedicated to Honkai Star Rail merch. Um, the line was a lot longer at the start of the convention. Um, looks like it's, it's died down a bit as uh, the panels have started, but still lots of offerings. Yeah, the Astral Market is what it's called. All right. Uh, and yeah, let me circle around so you can take a look at the, here's another weapons table. It's the second one. There's two weapons tables here at the convention. But uh, the first stage production, VTubers of Alum are here. And if you, uh, looks like there's still a long line after about nearly two hours. But if you buy merch, you can buy a meet and greet with the Avalum boys. So FSP is one of those groups, teams rising in popularity. And then here we have uh, what looks like magazine covers. So we've gone through a majority of this first haul. Let's take a peek at the Game Saru Free Play Arcade. Happy to see them here at nearly every Anime Impulse and a majority of California conventions in general. Uh, DDR and Pump It Up, always a hit. And you come play for free. So that $40 that you pay for the Anime Impulse ticket, you can make up some of that cost by just playing games. And consider that your admission fee to play video games. Taiko, and over here we have the other Chunidum and Mai Mai. We got different shooters here, <coughs> Gun Bullet X. Yeah, in the Pokemon tournament. We got racers. Midnight Maximum Tune 6. Battle Gear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that uh, basically Kirby playing Dance Rush. Oh, and Initial D. I didn't show Initial D. So, um, we have my favorite Dentro de Go, which I'll, I will play later on. Judy 
Maniac. I'm like, I'm like, dude, so, and then the, in, the info table here to uh, pick up wristbands and meet and greet tickets. So that's the arcade section. Let's make our way to the second building. Anime Impulse this time around is sponsored by Toyota. So Toyota gets their uh, dedicated booth and what we saw earlier was the grip. Yeah, the, the kind of the quiz show for grip. Grip, a to grip 2, a Toyota story. Um, but here, you know, the main sponsors of the show, it looks like they brought in some vehicles uh, that you can preview. Grip universe awaits, they say. So, looks like you get a chance to sit inside the vehicles. What do you think? I don't. I don't know the make and models that well. So you, you tell me. I'm not a car buff. And then so, you know, we peeking at the collector's expo and the artist and the voice actor section. So let's, let's pop outside. And uh, there are more cars here than I remember last year. So in between the buildings, you've got the Deco Car Showcase, the Itashas. Wow. <laughs> Look at these for a little bit. Um, there are definitely a lot, of, a lot of car repeat cars. Do check out my other videos walking through This is a very nicely sized Miku sitting on top of this one. But if you're if you're a fan of the uh, Itashas, um, look at my other anime impulse videos. They, and even Ofkai Expo. A lot of a lot of repeat guests, but uh, occasionally a new one too. Senpai Squad. Lots of beautiful cars, you know. So here's so. Racing Miku is a popular one. I remember seeing this Aqua. do a quick pass through these. <clears throat> and generally, I think it doesn't matter what kind of car you have. A lot of these are more kind of race car styles, low to the ground, they're coupes, two doors. But even if you just have like a common, you know, compact sedan, I think as long as you decorate it, it won't matter too much what kind of car it is. So there are a few more cars back here, but this this whole open area uh, is where cosplay meetups are scheduled. So it's it's great, spacious, and bright sunny day here in California. Good lighting for photos. out of a kind of a low-riding van that seems to have been adjusted so it runs closer to the ground uh, so we're behind the building where a collector's expo anime impulse is this is kind of the back lot Yohane Kobayashi Star 
rail <clears throat> oh and I remember this Inosuke one Lamy, complete with Standy. What a cute. All right. 2021 Chevrolet Camaro is this one here. Love life. We'll head over to building number two, which houses uh, K Play Fest and the main stage. So, all the main, your special panels with our special guests for today and tomorrow will be at the main stage. Um, most of them are ticketed. And there's a, what's it, was it Suara? They usually invent, uh, invest in a some music talent to do concerts. So if you are a K-pop fan, there's always someone exciting to see. <clears throat> but thanks for hanging out with me so far. <clears throat> I'll try to keep this video to an hour, maybe just under since I need to. As you saw earlier, um, the little advertisement for the I My Mirai band. So we're heading into K Play Fest here, but we will also take a quick pit stop at the VTuber meet and greet section, which is also on the side of this building. Uh, and the doors are closed, so normally it would be right through here, but since there are no meet and greets today, at least, or at least not yet. So welcome to the K Play Fest. And then the Jolly Bee booth, yeah. First of all, so over to the left, this whole area is the main stage. So, the, so they have the one o'clock uh, Hachimashiori panel. But yeah, Jolly Bee is also a big sponsor. You can see everyone already chowing down on chicken sandwiches, drinking their pineapple quenchers. But uh, Jolly Bee merch for sale. But you know they're a big sponsor, big lots of food. So it's just it's it's great that they're it's great that they're feeding the masses. So yes, yeah, so it looks like scan the QR code to claim your, your free sandwich. Oh, here's the line, okay. I was kind of cutting the line, but here's everyone in line waiting to get their, their sandwich, um, which wraps around the booth, but. Anyway, so K-Play Fest, uh, similar to Anime Impulse, except very focused on K-pop. Um, the tables that I passed by here are largely similar to, they've got books, they have albums, they have CDs, uh, the same kind of photo cards and acrylic charms and collectibles, but centered on K-pop stars and maybe and Korean like, Korean fashion. So I like that one up top, Pop Noodle. So we got just, just, just cute stuff based on animals or Pokemon evolutions here. Infinite K cars, K pop. <laughs> and it looks like it, it's not happening right now, but, but K Play will also have their kind of dance events. So even if you're not a K-pop fan, there's still some interesting little goodies you could find here. 
or for example here like these are like special holders for prints and cards which while here it's advertised for you know a k-pop star photo card you might find a design that you like to put an anime or vtuber in so come here for your photo card holders and kind of mix and match and merge kind of be creative and, and use them for for other photo cards Uh, let me know if you see someone you, you recognize. I have very little knowledge of, uh, of the Korean pop scene. But K-Play also has a lot of fans, a lot of interest, and always cute things for sale. And then even a little bit of uh, YouTubers still sneak their way in. So. Hi, hey, love your good artwork. Yeah. Okay, Instagram. You, are, you Ben Kim. Yeah. So these are all original paintings. These are original paintings. Okay. And then the prints of paintings. Wonderful. Yeah, man. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Temperature in here is kind of like maybe mid 70s, mid to upper. It's a little cooler outside, but it does warm up in here when you get a lot of people. Yeah. So we have some, some special like backdrops here for, for photo opportunities. That's cute, that's cute. Cutie pop nail shop. Buy K Pay Plus for your Jolly Bee sandwich or your K pop needs. Our last little visit will be over here beyond the, the main stage building. the main food court area.
So here we have, oh, it smells great already. Wish you could smell it. So this kind of grassy area is where they lined us up in the morning when they did bag checks early. Um, alcohol for sale if you want it. And then here we have food trucks and this is a very large uh, area, which is great, you know, size is good. But here we have some Japanese comfort food. Looks like I see China's chicken sandwich and fries, takoyaki and udon. So all your China Japanese like festival street food are out here. Corn dogs, fried things, candies. I see some, uh, and then you know, plenty of tables out here just to sit and be able to take a break, enjoy yourself, a little break in between shopping and events and panels. Here's like a Bearology exclusive. Um, special teas that are branded themed for Spy Family and Naruto. Okay, I need more pictures of Anega before people see Naruto group, Bango. <laughs> I think uh, this evening they're also going to do what's called a trade night. I think that's a new event. We got fried squid, we got crepes. Korean cuisine. We got the special Korean hot dogs with the cheese inside. They're very decorative, very de well decorated. Yakitori. And of course, bubble tea. Bubble tea, here's so a Thai place. We always like looking at the yakitori. Got freshly grilled chicken. Down here in the distance is the karaoke stage. Um, looks like nothing's going on right now, but could be soon, or we just need a we just need a volunteer. Show off your karaoke talents. But yeah, very spacious. Lots of lots of places to find a seat. Come around the edge here. Korean fried chicken. Ghost sticks corn dog shop. Is that a fire extinguisher? <laughs> the BBC and the big black corn dog. The churro, sweet corn, rainbow mozzarella, flaming hot Cheetos. So lots of creative designs here. Here's another skewers. More skewers. Let's say we got sugar cane juice. So food and drink, another bubble tea place. And croffles. Croissant and waffle mixed together. That's interesting. And then the mochi donuts. Oh, so here's here's what the cruffle looks like. Croissant waffle flavors. Specialty grilled cheese. We got bao steam buns. Nikuman. Nikuman, yeah. Special tea and then more drinks. So dumplings. Siumai, kind of dim sum style eats here. So. Oh, yes. I forgot about this. The Dreamland Maid Cafe.
So enjoy a very cutesy experience with special maids who will play games with you and take pictures. Always a staple of Japanese culture or uh, otaku culture, not Japan, is to enjoy some a moe moe experience with the maid cafe. So in short, there you have it. That is Anime Impulse Bay Area. Thank you for hanging out with me, walking around, and you know, if you're a regular or if you can't make it, hopefully this kind of gives you a glimpse as to what an anime convention could feel like. This, you know, this particular one is like half outdoors, half indoors. You got like the fully indoor kind. Uh, looks like the, uh, the Hatsuma panel just started. So, Hachima is starting to talk to people with Jolly B. So we're crossing through the K-Play Fest again. We'll end, uh, since I'm heading in this direction anyway, heading towards the community stage for I'm My Mirai. You can come along with me till I get there. But always something exciting going on hope you can make it out here in the future I, these conventions are going to continue people are always traveling there's always events <clears throat> always new faces familiar faces and new faces and then cosplay is a hobby that will continue for generations the Toyota sponsorship is interesting here that's unique Cross back through Collector's Expo in order to get to the Anime Impulse stage. But yes, thank you for hanging out. And we will see you at a future convention. I'll be traveling to more of them, if not this year, then next for sure. Great weekend. Be safe. Enjoy yourselves. That the last thing we see today is Garfield. Right over here. Garfield. Okay. Is was, it okay Garfield was not on my bingo okay. card okay. for anime. Let's have everybody form in the middle right here. Let's have everybody form in the middle. Okay. Looks like I'm my mirror hasn't started, started yet. So. Let, let's any children. So sorry. Let, let's like safety first, guys. Safety first. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to go. Is this safe? Throw it. Okay. Okay, ready? Please don't. We're trying to prevent injuries. Oh my gosh, hi Garfield! <laughs> ah, and whoever got a prize, the one girl, the person I gave the Mega Man figure to, she wants to take a picture. Just for, just, wait, we gotta take a picture. You can come over here. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, I, I'm so sorry in advance. Like seriously. Okay, ready? Okay, but we do have more prizes later today, just to let you guys know. So stick around. We will be here all day long. We have different performance happening. But coming up, we do have an anime cover based band based here in the Bay. So if you guys want to catch some cool performances, come over because they are starting soon. Are you guys ready? Yeah? Okay, let's bring on to the stage I'm